Hey guys, we're going to go over adding an image behind text in Illustrator. All right, so I mean, uh, Illustrator is a really cool tool. I use it quite a bit. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to navigate to an image that we'd like to put behind our uh, our text in Illustrator. So we're going to grab, we'll just go to pictures, we'll go to slideshow. I'll grab this one and I'm just clicking and dragging it in and dropping it. Now we're going to we're going to go ahead and uh, resize that. Two things about resizing images in Illustrator. One is you could just go ahead and grab it and move it until you say, well, that looks about right and let go. That's going to distort the image. Um, you could do it all you want, but you want to constrain the proportion. So if you make it a um, hundred percent, larger width wise you'd want it also to be a hundred percent larger height wise so how you do that is while you're dragging it you hold shift and that'll constrain the properties no matter where your mouse goes and then after you release your mouse left click you can release shift so here we've got an image and let's uh let's throw a couple more in there let's give it some cloud city and maybe some ancient ruins. Oh, that's a big one. So we're going to make that smaller. Zoom back in here. And how I'm doing that is uh, V is your selection tool. That's to click and move things. Z is for zoom. So if you press Z on the keyboard, same as clicking that, uh, gives you the magnifying glass that always goes in. Hold Alt, it'll go out. Now V back to the selection tool to resize things. And we're going to hold our shift. And there we go, constraining the properties. And let's just pretend what we want to do is something like this. Maybe there. Maybe there. And what's cool about this is um, the same way we're going to layer pictures is the same exact way we're going to layer our text. So if we put text in here right now and we say, this is my text, it's on top, but it's only on top because it's the latest layer created. If I copy one of these images, it puts it, um, a layer up. And I'm saying layer, um, that's actually the wrong term. These are all on the same layer as far as Illustrator is concerned, but in the layer, this is higher, uh, I, an object that's higher up. So what we need to do to bring this forward, let me make it a little easier to see. <clears throat> is left click on the words with the selection tool collect, uh, selected, then right click on the words and say, arrange, bring to front, and that'll bring it to the front. Now, <clears throat> when you have things layered like this, you might want something, you know, in between and you're like, well, I can bring that to the front then I can bring this to the front. That's one way to do it. Um, but you could also right click and say, Hey, I don't want to send this to the back, but I want to move this. I want to send it backward, but not all the way to the back. So bring to front, bring forward. So this brings it one step forward. This sends it one step backward. Or you could send it all the way to the back. We're going to get rid of that extra one. And we will go ahead and right click, arrange. Uh, and if you if you look at this, so bring to front is shift control plus that bracket. So we're just going to do that. We're going to go boom. And the other bracket is backwards. All right. And then we're just going to go range, bring to front. And then let's just center all these like that. And I 
one thing to realize about um, Illustrator is this only thing that's going to be uh, exported or saved into whatever export format you do are the things in the artboard. So that's represented by this black line here. So if I were to do an export for web, um, we end up with something looking like this. Anyways, that's how you put images behind text in Illustrator or really uh, how to layer your objects really quickly in Illustrator altogether. You guys have a good day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Is it too good to be true? I want this so much, but don't know if I can trust you. My mind's racing fast, trying to find.